Hello YouTube, this is Redcoat's Return and this is my first video. I have decided not to be a lurker anymore and try to contribute also with a few videos and uh, I'd like to start by just briefly telling you who I am. I'm based here in Switzerland. Um, I've been pipe smoking for about two years. I've amassed uh, quite a collection of blends and uh, pipes. My wife is always asking me, is that just one more pipe or how many do you have now? But um, quite a collection anyway. And I must have watched thousands of YouTube videos and read uh, as many pipe reviews to try and educate myself and have been very much helped by the YouTube pipe community who is uh, a wonderful collective of very friendly and kind people who give good advice and share all of their great knowledge and I uh, will continue to learn from them for many years to come. So I'm basically still a be beginner in, in the practice um, but thoroughly enjoy pipe smoking. It is so relaxing. I'm sure I'm going to live longer because I pipe smoke because uh, it is so chill out it is so calming um i just find it the ultimate relaxation form uh, after dinner in the evening and and a pipe in the morning I try to not smoke more than maybe one bowl a day um as a treat if you like but um sometimes i'm tempted to do a bit more than that it's just a wonderful sport as i call it well, I thought I'd uh, start my first uh, video by showing you one of the pipes that uh, came in a couple of days ago that I bought from uh, a man called Martin Haluska, who is based in Slovakia. That is uh, what used to be half of uh, Czechoslovakia. It's split into the Czech Republic and Slovakia. And Martin is based there. I will leave a, a link below in case you want to have a look at his website. Um, and I saw one of his pipes being introduced on YouTube, of course, and thought, wow, that's fantastic. I've got to have one of those. So I picked one out and um, he kindly made me uh, a pipe like the one that I pointed to because, of course, he'd sold a lot of the ones that are on his website. And this is it in front of me. You may wonder what this green tag is. This is at the moment an aromatic tag so every pipe I'm considering to use for aromatics I, I put a tag a color tag on for English blends for heavy Latakia blends um, uh, for heavy Perique blends and for flakes for example um, I'm experimenting at the moment as I do with lots of things I'm a scientist uh, before I was a marketing guy I'm now I'm retired by the way but uh, uh, my scientific instincts are still there, so I like to experiment with a lot of things, and um, I'm not sure I may go on with this tagging thing because I'm 80% an aromatic guy. <laughs> I mean, I've got a lot of blends, and 80% at least are aromatic. I just love the aromatics. They are great, but I, I do like other ones, and of course I'm evolving, as you tend to do in pipe smoking. You change, you... you, uh, you you return to things and then suddenly you like them. So it's a dynamic situation. Anyway, for the moment, this is the tag I put on and I will briefly explain that. But let's have a look at the pipe. And there she is. That is absolutely magnificent, I think. It has a beautiful drain, absolutely marvellous, beautiful finish to it. Uh, there's Martin's initials on the bottom there, but it's absolutely perfectly done. That lovely blue uh, ceramic collar between the um, silver steel rings gives it a lovely look. Uh, I'm generally a classic uh, person who likes classical looking pipes. This is much more modernistic. Um, but it's just so beautiful. Some of the dimensions I give you so this is a very large bowl, 5.8 centimeters wide. 
It is a standard length, 14.9 uh, centimeters long, so that's uh, almost really a normal length, but the bowl is so big it doesn't look that way. It's got a depth of bowl of 4.4 centimeters. It's a bowl width of 2.2, so um, it's got a nice capacity fill volume to it, and it's a weight of 109 grams. That's a heavy pipe, not one you would clench between your teeth while uh, trimming the hedge or something like that. But it's got a lovely feel in the hand, and um, after just two smokes, I'm, I'm very, very happy with this pipe. But um, that is not all about this pipe. Um, Martin Oluska is a, a very creative guy. This particular model is called the Fika, by the way. But he has several models which are magnetic. And you say magnetic, magnetic pipe, what do you mean? Well, the uh, stem is basically held in place quite firmly there by a magnetic ring. So you can see here the magnetic ring on one side and then on the other side, and that basically holds them together. And there's the 9mm filter, the Stanwell, which I've put in. And uh, that is something quite different. He, have, he has some models which basically even the bowl is detachable with a magnetic clasp. So that's quite something different. Um, and means you don't have to sort of screw it off and screech it off and you can actually disassemble this hot, as it were, uh, rather than having to wait to cool it cool down. But um, the other thing is it's got a very uh, wide stem inside. And um, I've, I've smoked two blends with this and I was thinking maybe I'll not use it for any hot smoking blends or maybe not aromatics because it, I thought that the stem was short but actually it's not that short and it has quite a large chamber here you see the smoke will be in that um, chamber and probably cool down I think before it goes in through the filter so I think this is quite suitable for any aromatic and I've decided I'm going to use it uh, for anything that won't ghost it really including English blends or um, if they're mild ones at least um, for, for ghosting blends, I tend to use uh, Missouri uh, corn cobs and, um, of course, Meerschaum pipes. I have one of those and about 10 corn cobs, so that's my solution there. And um, I don't have so many really super strong blends. I tend to be the person that likes, you know, low nicotine and mild, more subtle. Um, blends um, but I'm still learning and experimenting but that is a, another feature of this wonderful pipe which I think is quite unique um, it's really beautifully done um, in the link uh, you can see on his website maybe even better pictures of this beautiful pipe but you, you see it from the dimension of my hand that's a pretty sizable um, pipe but it just looks exquisite and it's a, the only one of its kind in my collection. The others are more traditional um, forms, at least. Um, and But this one, I thought this is just absolutely magnificent. So, so I've tried it with um, uh, in the morning and the evening. In fact, it was an exceptional day. I did two, two uh, smoking sessions. And uh, in the morning, I don't have any Dunhill early morning. Pipe, so I use this match from Wellauer, which is a, a Swiss-based um, blending company, um, and it's actually pretty good from what people tell me in comparison to Dunhill Early Morning Pipe, and it was just absolutely marvellous. I thoroughly enjoyed that. And in the evening, um, which is just uh, about an hour ago, I decided to try this lovely Boswell Raspberry Cream. I've got a lot of Boswell blends, they're basically good at everything, but their aromatics are just absolutely fantastic. My favourite is No Tongue Bite Delight, which I just think is absolutely brilliant. But any Boswell blend probably won't give you a tongue bite, they're so well done. And uh, Raspberry Cream is absolutely delicious. I'm almost through this one, and um, 
that uh, lovely smoke and, and that worked also perfectly in this pipe. Um, so I decided to, um, I made tag it green because I'm going to use it for a lot of aromatics because 80% of my blends are aromatics, but uh, I will um, not, uh, let's say, dedicate it to, to flakes, which I suppose some people with a thick wall pipe might think to do, or um, for uh, uh, Virginias, which smoke uh, maybe a bit hotter. I will uh, I will use it for all things which will not, not ghost it. So, so that's um, what I wanted to show, and um, I'm delighted now to have uh, made at least one first video and not to be a lurker anymore. Um, and I will, um, in future, try to do a few more video videos and contribute something to this wonderful community which I just think is the greatest um, and most friendly group of uh, individuals um, that I've probably ever come across and uh, it's, it's a wonderful sport uh, pipe smoking I call it almost like a sport but uh, uh, it's more than a hobby or uh, I guess old codger would uh, the artful codger would call it a lifestyle um, uh, attribute but um, whatever you call it, it it's just a wonderful thing and so relaxing and so enjoyable and I thank you very much for watching my clumsy first video I hope I do the other ones uh, better and I hope anyway you found this pipe kind of interesting thank you very much bye bye